by telling other brothers and teaching other brothers what he have learned according to Yahweh Shinnah Shah in the scripture. So he keeping it, he applying it, and he teaching other brothers the same thing through the spirit. Go ahead. No man, when he hath lighting a candle, cover it with a vessel. Yeah, so when you learn this truth, okay, and it, and it grows in you, and you have that faith, and you apply it, you go teach other Israelites of the elect uh, what you have learned, and tell them about the gospel of Yahweh Shinnah Shah, that he, that he came to save Israel, okay? That's what you do, man. You don't, you don't hide, you don't hide the word and, and, and say, oh, I got it for myself. I don't need to tell nobody else. No, you, you tell, you tell, you tell Israel so they may benefit too off of what you have learned and how the Most High showed mercy on you so he can show mercy on them. So that's what you do. You don't hide, you don't hide, you don't hide your word. The Most High wants you to put that word out so the elect can be illuminated and you can tell uh, the elect how merciful Yahweh Shemel Shai is by waking you up. And cause you, cause just like myself, I was right, but the Most High woke me up, and I'm out here teaching. I never thought I'd be doing this, and I never thought that it'd be buzz around me, uh, uh, believing in the same thing that I'm believing in. I never thought that, man. Okay, but it was by the grace and the mercy of your Hawaii Shai, man. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead, bro. What verse you at? I'm at uh, 16. Okay. That's how you stay. That's how you stay heated, man. You gotta, you gotta read and move around, man. <laughs> Bring that okay. fire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Verse 16 here. All right. Or putteth it under a bed. But sitteth it on a candlestick, mm -hmm. they that they which enter in may see the light. May see the light, man. But this is the light, man. This is the word, man. So they that enter in may see the light. Okay? Because that's what it's all about, man. Uh the elect seeing the light, man, so they can be saved, man. Okay? Because that's what it's about, man. Believing in the gospel and so so the elect can be saved, man. Okay, you don't hide the word and, and to where uh, the elect not gonna see it, man. Right, you good for nothing, man. That's unprofitable, man. Okay. Well, you want to continue in uh, what you what you trying to grab? I was looking something. Up. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, verse seventeen. All right. For nothing is a secret that shall not be made manifest. For nothing is a secret that shall not be made manifest, okay? So you're gonna have some believe and you're gonna have some that don't believe, man. You're gonna have some that do the work and you're gonna have some that's not gonna do the work, man. That's just what it is, man. You're gonna have some that hide the light, which is the word, and you're gonna have some that publish the light, okay? So others may benefit off of the light, man, okay? Oh, y'all bosh me out shot. But, go ahead. Is that verse 17? Yeah. Yeah, make sure you finish it all off. Neither any anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Yeah, because when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, when this word come out, uh, it's going to be known if you believe in y'all bosh me out shot truth. It's going at the end at the end of all this, it's gonna be known if you believe in y'all by Shana was shot. Some, some, some is being known right now as we speak, but when all said and done, it's gonna be manifest, man. Who was really true? Who was really sincere? Who was really humble? Okay. Who really had faith? And who was acting? You know? But just like just like just like me. And just like y'all brothers, hey, in y'all daily life, I can't monitor y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? I can't punish y'all every hour and say, hey, brother, hey, brother, you ain't no pork, I Hey, brother, you ain't come in the dope, y'all. Yeah, we, we, yeah, what's fine. going on? I can't, I can't do that. But it's up to you to, to take heed to this word and work out your own salvation with, with fear and trembling. Now, if you got a question, then I say, you say, hey, bro, hey, right, what's this talking about? What's this talking about? Then we can go from there. But I can't watch over you like a magnifying glass every day all day. I can't do it. It's up to you to gather yourself together and, 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 and uh, through the spirit of power, y'all about to shy, keep that faith. And for you people that's out there listening, man, for you brothers and sisters that's out there listening, that's just what it is, man. You know, you have to apply it. You have to apply it. And, uh, and, and this is a serious thing, man. This is a serious thing, man. This is no joke. Okay? This is about your life. This is about salvation, man. You know? And you find that out when uh, when that faith is placed on you, man. You find out the truth, man. According to the scriptures. Okay? That was another demon down there. On a moped. <laughs> another demon. You know? But go ahead, I. Verse 18. Oh, no, that's it on that. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it on that. We're going to, we're going to uh, Sirach. What is that, Sirach uh, 6? Sirach 6 and uh, 20. I think that's where it's at. Sirach 6 and, uh, yeah, Sirach. Please ask 6 and 20. Yeah. In the pocket. Okay, this is uh, Sharak, chapter 6, verse 20. Go ahead. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. Now, this is dealing with wisdom, okay? When you come in, when you hear this word, okay, and you get tested because this is the thing, man. When you when you hear this word, it's a test, man. It's suffering, okay? Contrary to pop belief. It's, it's suffering. You're going you to catch it, Okay? When you become born again and you start applying these scriptures and you believe in Yahweh Shai and, and you humble down and, and recognize that look, we got punished for what we have done, the punishment don't stop. Okay? You suffer. Okay? You go through it, man. You go through it. Okay? Go ahead. Read that again for me. Baba Kusha, meaning please. Uh, this is Sharak chapter 6, verse 20. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. Wisdom. The word of the Heavenly Father, wisdom, is unpleasant to the unlearned, man. Okay, go ahead. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. Yeah, a person that's without understanding. They ain't gonna keep their faith, man. They ain't gonna apply these scriptures. They ain't gonna keep their wisdom. Hey, man, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna. Hey, man, I can't do that no more. Ever since I've been reading that Bible, I've been catching hell. He's a mohel. They don't even want no parts of it no more. Okay, go ahead. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone. Yeah, she will lie upon him as a mighty stone. Hey, man, a, a mighty crushing stone, man, to break you all the way down, man. Yeah. She was that wisdom that the Most High is, is placing up on you, it will be up on you like a mighty stone, man. Okay? Go ahead. Of trial? Of trial. So if you're going through trial, it's, to, it's a test. It's to build up your character. Go ahead. And he will cast her from him, ere it be long. Yeah, because if he has no honor and have no integrity and believe in the heavenly Father and Son through faith, he gonna get rid of his start with He's gonna say, hey man, I, I ain't got time to get this Bible no more. Nah, I'm going back into the world. This is the That ain't fuck me. I, I can't do that. Yeah, man, that's what it's gonna be, man. Y'all don't want no parts of the wisdom. 
Now they they go back into the world. They might start scoffing, come up on the comment board, but they'll get away from this Bible, man. They say, "Hey, man, that Bible ain't nah. I'm going back into the world." That's what they do because it's on them like a mighty stone to the unlearned, man. Okay, that's a person that basically don't even have no faith, man. They thought they could get. They they seen us out here and say, "Oh, they look easy. I can do that." Nah. Spirit of power, y'all about to see me on the side now. On you, he gonna be out of there, man. Cause he gonna test you, man. He gonna test you. He gonna test you and see how much you love him, right? He gonna test you and see how much you love him. And if you don't have faith, you gonna get rid of. You gonna you gonna stop, man. You gonna go into the world and stay in the world, man. Yeah, but go ahead. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial. And he will cast her from him ere it belong. Yeah, go ahead. For wisdom is according to her name. Go ahead. And she is not manifest unto many. She is not manifest unto many. Hey, man, these scriptures are not manifest to everybody, man. The breakdown and the knowledge and wisdom understanding of these scriptures is not manifest to everybody. It's not made clear to where they will have understanding and applied in their life, man. Okay. Matter of fact, you want to look the word manifest up? Anybody look it up? Well, you can get it. I just want to see if it means clear. Because I, I ain't looked it up in a long time. They changed shit. <laughs> man. man, he doubled, man. Yeah. Hey, man. I say something, then I go back and look at it. It'd be something totally different. I'm like, man, wait a minute, man. <laughs> go to the etymology. Is my and, mind then, and, then, and then I go to the then I go to one of my old dictionaries yeah. and it had a word clear in there and I said, like, see? Yeah, plainly, yeah, clear, evident. Yeah, that's all I want. Yeah, it's in the head of mind. That's what it manifests me. Plainly, evident, clear. So the wisdom of these scriptures is not manifest to many. I mean it's not clear to many, man. Okay? They can say, oh, I read the Bible. And I believe in it. But, hey, man, when you start checking their spirit and going into certain things and looking at them, hey, it, it's evident that it's not clear to them. They start bucking up in them. And before you know it, they come on out with their favorite scripture, John 3, 16. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they do, man. Go ahead. Verse 23. Oh, okay. All right, let it be, Bron. Let it be, Bron. Go ahead. Give ear, my son. Receive my advice. He said, give ear, my son. Receive my advice. So you can be saved, man. Okay, go ahead. And refuse not my counsel. And refuse not my counsel, man. An unlearned person will refuse the Heavenly Father's counsel, man. Okay. They don't want it, okay? Because the, the curls of this world uh, have caused them to uh, stay contrary, man, okay? Or they become unprofitable, man. They don't have faith, man, okay? They didn't, they didn't, they didn't believe the report of the gospel, man, when we were teaching them about Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man, how they still live and how they come to save us out of this condition, man. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 24. And put thy feet into her her feathers. Yeah. Fetters. In other words, become uh, in bondage, man, with the wisdom. Become in bondage, man. You know, become a slave to the wisdom. In other words. Go ahead. And thy neck into her chain. See? Become a slave to the wisdom, man. Get in these scriptures and search them out, man. Get in these scriptures and study and search them out, man. Search these scriptures out, man. And grow in the spirit, man. And get built and rooted up, man. You know? Go ahead. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her. Yeah, bow down thy shoulder and bear her, man. Okay? Because when you when you get this wisdom, hey, it's going to be a fiery trial, man. You're going to get tested, man. Okay, you're going to suffer, man. Being born again and being an Israelite, you're going to suffer, man. 
if you're in truth and sincere, you're going to suffer, man. You're going to go through it, man. Okay? But that's that's the way the Heavenly Father and His Son work, contrary to popular belief, man. You're going to suffer, man. Go ahead. And be not grieved with her bonds. Be not grieved with her bonds, man. Okay? Go ahead. Come unto her with thy whole heart. Come unto her with thy whole mind, man. Not halfway, not lukewarm, not having no faith, straddling the fence, double-minded. I don't know if I want to do this or go into the world. That's double-minded, man. One foot in the world and one foot in the truth. That's double-minded. Y'all watch me out shot and screw your ass out. Uh, 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 if you double-minded or you lukewarm, okay? He said he would spew you out. In other words, vomit you up to where you won't even be part of his body no more. Okay? For you having faith, not having faith, man, being lukewarm. Okay? Cold, cold is when you ain't got no faith. Uh, hot is when you got faith. But you in between, that's like you double-minded. You don't, you, you straddling the fence. So y'all watching that shot when you read Revelation 3rd chapter, he said, I will spew you out of my uh, mouth, meaning vomit you up, and you won't even be part of the body no more. Okay? Go ahead. Come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways. Yeah, come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her way. Your whole mind, man. Your whole mind. This is it. I you been searching for the truth for all this all this time and the most I woke you up. This is it, man. This is it. This is this is it. This is where you need to be, man. This is how you receive uh, uh, this is how you receive the truth get delivered from the destruction, man. Okay? Hearing this word and applying it, man. Go ahead. With all thy power. With all thy power, man. Everything you got. Okay? Stay with this wisdom, man. Stay with your Abbas instruction. Okay? What we going next? Uh, Colossians, second chapter. That was verse 26 that you just read? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to Colossians. Colossians, the uh, second chapter. And the second verse, we're going to read all the way down to uh, the seventh verse. Hey, man, I got, a, hey, I got on them thermal socks, man. They, they work. <laughs> they yeah, I went, I, yeah, I went to Wild and got me some thermal socks. <laughs> They work. <laughs> Money well spent, huh? Yeah. This is Colossians. But generally, uh, generally I have on, you know, two pair when it's cold like this. But shh, I got the thermal on. I mean, I, I really have on, you know, two pair of them ankle socks. Yeah, that ain't working, man. I got them thermals on, man. They're doing, they're doing the job, man. You know, okay, Colossians, the second chapter. Colossians, yes, second chapter, verse 2. That their hearts might be comforted, mm -hmm. be knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of the Most High. Go ahead. And of the Father and of, of the Mashiach. Go ahead. And whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, go ahead. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joined and beholding your, your order and the steadfastness of your faith in the Mashiach as ye ye have therefore received the Mashiach Yahweh so walk ye ye in him rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught abiding therein with thanksgiving
Reverse you at seven? Yeah, that, that was it. Man. Okay, start Watch back you. up at the top again. Might want to grab your pen down there. Okay, this uh, Colossians. You hear me? Uh, What's that? Grab your, uh, oh. Pen. What? Uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. That their hearts might be comforted, be knit together in love. You are in unity, man. All right, this is love, man. This is love from the Heavenly Father and His Son. And this is love when we are here teaching and telling you, man. Okay? To repent, man. Let these words sink into your, sink into your ears, man. And don't forsake y'all, Bashi and shy, man, when you hear this truth, man. Don't forsake them. And knowing and knowing and understanding this truth, you're going to go through things, man. You're going to go through things, man, that you didn't go through before you came into this truth. And when you go through them, you're going to recognize, okay, this is, what, this is how it is, okay? Coming back into my nationality and learning about y'all about Chanel Shot. This is how it is, man. This is what I gotta go through in order to receive salvation, man. So hey, if it is what it is, I gotta take it joyfully, man. And continue walking that path and believing in your how about Chanel Shot, man. Okay? So read that again for me. I, uh, this is Colossians chapter two, verse two. That their hearts might be comforted, be knit together. You know, their mind being comforted, man. Okay? These scriptures uh, is a comforter, man. You know what I'm saying? Through your trials and tribulations, you know uh, at the end of all this, you know it's a way out, man. It ain't going to be like this forever, man. Okay? Go ahead. In love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding. Yeah, that's the true riches, man. Not not the money of this world, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the, of the kingdom of heaven, man. That's the true riches, man. Okay? 